Hello, hello, hello. Every day I go through a lot of situations and talk to a lot of people with this life coaching business that I have. There are many people I have met that precast judgment over me and they, without even getting to know me, they're what I call that in that assumption mode. They assume that they know what everybody else is feeling or their ailments or whatever it is that's going on in their life. They think they know what it is and how they can fix it and everything else. I'm not here to fix anybody's life. I'm here to show you tips and tricks of how I got myself out of situations. Many people who cast prejudgment over me without even getting to know me and my story and my journey, it is pretty fun because every once in a while somebody will come up to me and I have a handicap sticker that we have in our truck because I have bad feet. I look good on the outside altogether, but nobody knows the pains that I go through on the inside. The problems I have with walking, with only having feeling in half of a foot, you know, but do I go out there and talking about that every day to everybody? But I love it when I step out of a truck and then, yes, I walk into a store. And, but yet, am I in pain sometimes? Awesome. Yes, I am. And it is great. It's so much fun. I'm telling you, right? So, but each time that I get out and go into the store and I put that handicap sticker up and then somebody walks by and says, well, you don't look like you're handicapped. And then I ask them a simple question. Are you a doctor? Are you inside this physical body? And then they will say, well, no, I'm not a doctor. Then how do you know the ailments are the situations that I have been in until we have had a conversation and you truly know me and the directions that I have had to put in my life to learn how to rewalk at 40 something years of age, because after the surgery, I completely had, to, I have no feeling in that big toe and the other two is right beside it. So half the foot, that is your balance point. So I had to learn completely all over again with my equilibrium and how to be able to walk. So until you actually know a situation that a person is going through because you sat down and you talked to them and you was able to hear their journey and their situations of what they're going through, then how can you understand, you know, what they're going through or how can you cast prejudgment on someone at all? You can't. So my biggest thing is I tell people they need to go to the mirror and they need to work on themselves and quit trying to fix everybody else's situations or quit trying to be the uh, nourisher of something that you don't even understand, you know? So go to the mirror and you need to work on your demons, not mine. I work on mine every day and I am happy with the way that mine is going out because I sent my demons and my fear and my self doubt. And I set them aside because having to learn to rewalk and I thought I was being broke down completely in life and that I didn't want to be here. You know, but yet, what did I do? I stayed diligent with my training. I stayed diligent within my focus. I stayed diligent with keeping my chi in alignment. So if you need some help and assistance, well, I can probably guide you because the first thing I'm going to do with anybody that contacts me for life coaching is I'm going to sit down and I'm going to listen to what you're going through in life and the situations where you're at and the habits that you have now that you're wanting to shift. Then I'm going to show you how you can shift those energies to do the things that you're wanting to work on, whether it's the career side, the physical side, the mental side, the relationship sides, whatever it is that you're wanting to work on, I'm going to see what habits that you have now and how you can shift those habits to just a little bit by changing something every day, getting up a little bit earlier instead of coming home right after work. If you want to work on the physical side, leaving work and going straight to the gym. And then that way it's taken care of before you even get home. And now it's going to put better energy into your life. And then that way, when you get home, you have released all stress from the work or the day or the situations that's been going on in that outside reality out there. And then you go to the gym and you blow all that steam off and then you go home and then you can get a better relationship to your family and your loved ones. And then now you're going to see that part of your life shifting as well. And then before you know it, you're going to see a better energy within you. And then it rolls right over into your career side and people will see the difference and notice the things that you're doing there as well to shift your life. And then they're going to ask you, what have you been doing different? I changed a habit. One little habit that I didn't want in my life anymore. I shifted it and not doing that anymore. And this is what I'm doing to change it. So every day, guys, just remember that we cannot precast judgment. We are not the ones here for that. The only ones that we need to judge on is ourselves. And then also the stop assuming that you know what's going on in somebody's life. They may look happy. They may look perfect and this, that, and the other, but deep down inside, they may not be. Are they going to tell you? Because not everybody wants to tell people their situations or what's going on in their life. So just know everybody is going through something 
because we're all working on us to make us a better person. We're all working on life and trying to move us in a new direction to mold with this evolving world that we're in that is growing and morphing fast, you know, and the career size, you know, it's not like you can go and get a job and stay there for the next 40 years and have a retirement because that got thrown out the window about 10 years ago. So now everybody is working diligently just to pay the bills and keep their head above water and then be able to have the things that they want in life. So you never know what kind of situations they're going through. And so anyway, just have a good life and have fun with you and your situation that you're going through and how can you make you better. And that's what, once we start making ourselves better and people get that understanding that they have to start here within you and within you, Stop blocking yourself, quit having the self-doubt and the fear on everything and know that there's always going to be new things that you will have to try. There's always going to be new situations that are going to arise. So now, how are you going to get better in tune with you to handle those situations that are coming instead of dwelling on what it's doing to you? Or, oh my, it's you know poor pitiful me. It's not poor pitiful you. What are you learning from that situation that you're going through that's making you a stronger, better person that you can go out into the world and bring something better back to the table? I love and appreciate y'all. If y'all caught this on replay and got some value out of it, throw replays down in the comments for me. If you got some value out of this, let me know. And if you need a life coach or somebody to assist you and guide you and shape and shift that life into a new direction with a new perspective, message me and let's get in talk, contact with each other and then see how I can assist you in life. I love and appreciate you all guys. Have a wonderful day. Keep smiling on your face and know that happiness starts within you first.